Hey guys, it's Brands. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna give you guys a little peek into my healing journey. I shared it a little bit on TikTok, but I thought, why not start sharing it on YouTube? And I've been starting to take care of myself better, but I have still have days where I sleep and still have days where I don't feel the best. And you know, I wanna get back to feeling myself again, right? So today I'm getting dressed up in a cute little outfit, gonna get ready and have a good day. I'm gonna show you the little steps towards my healing journey today. Like it's a vlog style video, but it's gonna be a part of a new series on my channel. But anyway, I'm gonna have a shower, get changed out of these clothes. I've been wearing them for a couple days. I know, that's kind of shameful, but hey, part of like, healing is being open and honest about your mental health it's also very important a lot of people shame people for like lacking on hygiene a bit and you know going through it i used to be one of those people that was more judgmental more hate in my heart spilling it everywhere but then i grew up and i realized the only person i can judge is myself i can only judge my actions i want to have love and empathy towards other people because me and my dad were talking about it and we we're talking and like even he said like I can't have judgment towards other people's bad actions that they made in addiction or the worst point in their life because if they've become better and they're trying their best they're doing their best we were all only live once you know nobody wants to be judged and held to their worst mistakes and we're not you can get better and do better and that's what I want to kind of show in this series sorry if I'm yapping so much but yeah, I'll show you the little outfit. But I got this little t-shirt from Kmart. Fucking love it. With these, <laughs> it's a full Kmart outfit. These little pants. And I'm having an everything shower. If you know, you know. Um, it's kind of embarrassing to talk about, but I was like living in a tent homeless for a few months. I just, I didn't have the time or energy to do that stuff like I was showering and stuff when I can't could and stuff but like doing bits and pieces like shaving and I even just started like not doing my makeup and I was trying my best but I was slipping and I want to get better I want to do better and feel better and I feel like you gotta kind of fake it to you make it in a way but not fake it to you make it I'm feeling good today but like you gotta do little things to amplify when you're feeling good like do a little bit of makeup, do a little bit of self care, get a little cute outfit on. I live on a farm, it could, it's gonna get dirty, but who gives a fuck? Like, I wanna look cute, I wanna feel good, look good, you know. Anyway, I'm gonna have a shower and then get ready. So taking small steps to take care of my hair such as I had a cold rinse at the end of my shower even though I hate cold water I know it's better to wash the conditioner and shampoo out with cold water so I took that risk and right now I'm just drying my hair in the best way and now I'm flossing my teeth I'm kind of obsessed with flossing my teeth I floss them a few times a day it's just really good to floss your teeth sometimes i floss every day and i get a bit that out that smells and i'm like oh god thank god that's not rotten in my teeth but here you can see how long it takes me to floss and this isn't even all of it this is a condensed version of it too look at my marvelous face next it's time to sterilize my toothbrush because i'm a bit of a germ freak can never be too sure you know it's cleaning my teeth i also forgot to get new toothpaste so here you can see the phase of realization of oh shit i forgot to get toothpaste and then oh i got some out yay 
but I'm still gonna have to get two faced later. But I have to brush them pearly whites. Well, people always make fun of me for my yellow teeth. They are kind of yellow, but heh, that's fine. It's a process. and walked away. What's funny about me not being able to find my beauty blender for doing my makeup today is I found it right after my makeup was done. But it still looked slay in the end. Anyway, you just gotta kinda trust the process. Like, it looks a bit crazy to begin with. But trust the process and you'll see what happens. I'm a very pale person, so I find it hard to find really, really light tones that don't look yellow. I like that kinda cooler tone look, you know? And yeah, it's hard to find budget makeup in general, to be honest. But you gotta rub, rub it in. And like, it looks a bit, still a bit hectic, not gonna lie. But just keep, keep waiting, keep your patience. It's starting to actually get there now, see? I'm aware that I'm not the best at makeup right now, but I really want to improve my skills along my healing journey. So I'm very excited. I can't wait to be in the right space and have the right funds to be able to go out and get new makeup supplies and just be able to actually, you know, explore with how I want to do my makeup and stuff. favorite parts is highlighter sometimes I add a little bit too much but like shiny lipstick was one of the hardest parts to do today because I don't have a lip liner right now so it was so hard to not have it bleed everywhere you can see the concentration in my face because I had to move to the mirror I was trying to do it in my phone to begin with but then I was like nah mirror it is Ugh. but it actually turned out better than I expected for not using lip liner and I love doing mascara you can go a bit, little bit crazy a little bit overboard and then clean it up after, which is what I like about it. As you can see, I made a bit of a mess, so I just took the concealer to tidy it up a bit. Make it look a bit, little bit more presentable.
Jack. It's very nice living on a farm. Like, in, in about a month, my farm life era is about to come to an end, and I'm sad. Well, I shouldn't say I'm too sad because, like, I'm moving on to bigger and better things, and, like, it's a, it's a moment in my life I'm always going to appreciate, and I'm always going to come up here and work. It's my family's farm. Like, I don't need to get too sappy about it. I don't know what it is. Every time an era in my life ends, I get pretty sad, pretty sappy. It, it's just like, what do you mean it's over? Oh, I didn't want it to be over. Anyway, we'll go over to the kitchen in the big shed. So nice hearing all the birds and all the nature. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> Oh, who closed this? The fucking Hulk? But if you struggle to make food and eat, this is your sign. Make some food. It's okay. I struggled a lot on my healing journey. Here I am making food. Baby steps at a time. Whatever you can make right now, make something. A clean plastic bowl. This is the one thing I can always eat no matter what. Like if you can find that comfort food, that one thing you can eat no matter what, great. Get that, have that, have like backups of it. If it happens to be healthy, double great. <laughs> but this is my favorite Greek yogurt, strawberry flavored. Ah. I'm gonna have that and then see how I go. And if I'm more hungry, I'm gonna have like a snack. You are about to see the battle I had to get this open. Like, I just want to get into my food. Why do they make the plastic wrappers so hard to open? I tried biting it. That didn't work. You can see I got plastic in my mouth. Didn't like that. I ended up just going at it with a knife. And that worked. And I was able to finally get to my precious Greek yogurt. But I made a little bit of a sweet creation today. Yogurt is my comfort food, and I decided to pair it with another comfort food, which you'll see in a second. Biscoff. It actually turned out a lot better than I expected. I also had to scoop out and eat the bis uh, some of the biscoff because I got yogurt in because I forgot to use a different spoon. Silly me, but you live and you learn. And I've got this mint chocolate powder, which I also added to this hop for some extra flavor, you know? spoil myself a bit today for the lunchtime snack did i kind of make my yogurt a little bit unhealthy a little bit more processed yes but am i going to eat it and enjoy the fuck out of it yes so like the goal is to be healthy but if you need to spruce your food up to make it good for you to eat that day you gotta do that you gotta have a little treats in life mm. Watch this video, get ready, get inspired, let's heal together. Mate, healing isn't easy. We gotta find communities to be a part of, all heal together. Share tips and tricks and self-care tip. Like, I don't know, encourage each other, be there for each other, be there, watch the growth. I woke up in a good mood. I woke up later than I'd like to admit. I woke up at nine, I wanted to wake up early, but hey, the goal for tomorrow is waking up at seven. Yeah. Um, so you get earlier and earlier. This is a fucking delicious. Yeah, I want to start this new journey um, of this new series with you guys. I'm posting raw moments of my healing journey. And today is just a little spicing up and getting dressed and getting out there. I took a couple photos. I felt great. I'm gonna post it in my Instagram later. But I feel great. I've made a couple TikToks. I, I'm just in a really great headspace today. And I hope you are too. Mm. Anyway guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed my healing diaries. If you did, like, subscribe, share. 
show the love, let me know what you think. I'll be posting these every Friday, so I hope you'll look forward to them as much as I do. I, enjoyed, I really enjoyed making this, and I, if you, even if this video helps one person out there, that makes my soul happy. Stay safe, know that you are loved and important in this world, and I'll see you next time.